Hey guys, Paul Kepner here. Welcome back. So in this video, I want to do a quick kind of overview on how I have my 2.5K Blackmagic Cinema Camera set up. I've done several videos with this and I've had a lot of people message me and write me and ask how I have it set up and what I use to, to make it work. Um, out of all the cameras I have, I would have to say this one's probably my all-time favorite. Um, it's just it's just a beautiful image it produces, and I, I love it. And I've got the 4K pocket camera, and it's a good camera. It's got great features and everything, but I don't know, something about this one. And I don't know, I, I use this one pretty much all the time. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. Um, V-mount batteries. Um, I actually got these. Somebody was clearancing them out. Uh, these are Sony 60-watt batteries. They're not small and compact, but I managed to get four of these for 25 bucks a piece. So $100, I got four of these batteries, 60 watts. It runs this whole setup with the screen on bright for about two and a half to three hours, depending on if I turn the camera off or the monitor off while I'm you know, sitting doing nothing or doing other stuff. These are the batteries. Um, I like the V-mount, the only bad set, bad thing about these is I don't know if you can see on the camera there's no detap <laughs> no detap at all on these batteries you got a power meter so you can check but other than that that's it so um, luckily I can check the level of the battery on it um, but yeah I, I use it this on this camera all the time and I've never had any problems with it the battery plate folds back so I can get to the menu on everything on the camera. Once I set the menu, the shutter, white balance and everything, I don't really have to get to the screen anymore because I can see everything through the top screen. So I just keep it folded up like this. Battery plate I use, <clears throat> excuse me, is a Fotka. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, I got this on Amazon. I think I've had it three, four years, somewhere around there, maybe. And it was less than $100. So for power, the bottom cable that you see right here, that's a Limo four pin that I have going to a 5.5 barrel plug to go into the cinema camera to power it. And then I've got several USB, or I think two USB on the side. I'm not looking at it. And then I've got several other 5.5. And so what I use is I have this dummy battery on the back of the monitor with just a cable coming down and then plugged into the V-mount uh, plate to power it. So everything's powered through here. Uh, the cinema camera has an internal battery so and it actually holds a charge for about 20 minutes. It's, it's an old battery but it gives me enough time to be able to hop swap the uh, V-mount batteries when I need to. On the monitor this is a 7-inch Fotka uh, I really love this ba this battery, this monitor. It has SDI in and out. It loops through. It has HDMI in and out. And also, if you have it plugged in, it, so if you have two batteries on here, or even a single battery, and you have main power going into this monitor, it will charge your batteries. Not fast, but it will charge your batteries, which is nice. I, I like that feature. Um, the cage is a full, like I said, it's a full tilt -a cage. It came with the top rails, bottom rails, um, the cage, two dovetails. It uh, came with the handle here with the start-stop button on it. came with a second handle right here. I don't, I don't use the second one too much. I um, got that on Amazon. And the whole cage, I'm wanting to say it was 280 something like that, brand new. And uh, when I ordered it, it came from ICANN. So, and those guys are great to deal with. I've, I've dealt with them for a while. Um, on the side here, I've got a tilt to follow focus right here. Makes it nice when you're holding the camera. You can just focus with this and, and get everything, you know, get all your shots instead of having to mess with the front and, and focus it. I really like that. Um, let's see, what else? The monitor has a, or the, not the monitor, the top handle has a cold shoe right here. 
So if I wanted, I could basically unscrew this. I'll just show you. Okay, before I show you that, this monitor has a built-in foldable sun hood and screen protector. So I can fold it in and it's like that, completely protected now, which I really like that feature. So if I wanted to, I could take this monitor off, uh, disconnect the dummy battery, disconnect the HDMI, and I have this, it's a small rig, um, I don't remember what they call it, but anyway, you can put rails, like it, it holds a 15 millimeter rail. So if I wanted to run my EVF, I could just put it on here like that, put the dummy battery and the SDI cables, and I'm all set. And this is the uh, Alphatron EVF. I've been really happy with it. It's big, but I've been happy with it. And I've had that one this one for five or six years, maybe longer. And the rig for, or the um, arm for it is a small rig. So it, it moves in and out and up and down and, and you can replace the rail on, I mean the, yeah, the 15 millimeter rail on here. With a longer one, you can put a shorter one. So it's, it's very versatile. I like that. So let me, only thing bad about this cover, sometimes, there you go, sometimes it's hard to open. But I'd rather it be a little hard to open than hard to, uh, or easy to pop open and damage the monitor. See right here, dummy battery right here. Put it on there. Oop, SDI right here. Plug it in and then Good to go. Let's see, turning back on. This monitor has everything all the others have. It has false color, waveform. Uh, you can run, let's see, I can't see <laughs> the top of it. Sorry about the noise. These cats are they're chasing stuff around the house. But anyway, so you got RGB parade on there. You've got vector scope and histogram. And you can rent them all at the same time or shut them off, which is nice. It does anamorphic de-squeeze, uh, does 1.33, 1.5, I believe, and two times. So uh, I use the, I have the Suray 1.33 lenses that I use on here, and it works great with that. Um, let's see here. The matte box is a Tilta. I, I've had this one probably as long as I've had the EVF, if not a little bit longer. Love this thing. Um, I do want to upgrade this one eventually to the carbon fiber version that they have because it has the barn doors and the French flag. Sometimes I've been in situations where you've got a lot of uh, side light that you can't control and not having barn doors is kind of is a pain. Uh, French flag right here, you've got Let's see if you can see it. These two little buttons, or not buttons, but knobs right here. Basically, unscrew those. And this whole thing comes off, and folds up, and then you can throw it in your bag. So you don't need it. So very compact. Uh, not as small as some of the little clip-on ones, but it's nice. The thing I love about it is it's a swing, uh, swing open. So you just pull. Let me turn this over here so you can see. See this knob right here? You pull that, this whole thing. Pops open and get to your lenses. Switch your lens out uh, when you're done changing it out. Ready to go. Um, it does have dual, and these cats are getting loud. <laughs> Sorry about that. Start. Cut it out. Sorry. It's nighttime. So they're playing. So this matte box does have dual filter trays, pop-out filter trays. Uh, they're four by four filters, so you can loosen this right here. Is that loosen the right one? Nope. <laughs> it helps when you see what you're doing. So I've, I use uh, Tiffin and Schneider four by four filters. Uh, 
ND, black probe is, glimmer glass, whatever. Um, so yeah, it's this whole thing is set up really nice. Uh, I really, really enjoy using it. Um, and handheld, uh, it, it's on just this little tripod right now. Normally I'll put it on a big tripod, but if I was going to hold it, um, super easy. See, you can hold it with one hand. You can hold it like this, and I can focus with one hand while I'm doing this. And then I've got the start-stop button right here. So, this is a smaller setup. This is a little small rig, little tabletop tripod. And this thing goes everywhere with me, too. It's been so handy. i got to tighten that back down. Um... Yeah, I think that's about everything on here. Um, of course, the lenses on here right now is a, a Mikey, or Miki, however you pronounce it. Um, 35 millimeter. But again, you can use your follow focus for it. Um, i trying to think if there's anything that I've left out that you guys might want to know. I did put a cold shoe, a little small rig cold shoe right here. Uh, that way if I wanted to have some scratch audio or something I could put a little small mic there. Anyways, um, hope you liked the, the little bit of uh, a tour around the, the camera here. If you have any questions leave it down below in the comments. I'll be sure to answer them for you. I will also leave links for everything in the uh, description as well. Maybe the Sony batteries. I, you know, I haven't even looked to see if they still currently sell this battery. Uh, I'm sure they do, but I just, I'll look and see. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to get out here before the cats make way more noise because they're waking up and getting kind of crazy. But, uh, yeah, I, I really enjoy filming with this. Um, well, hope you enjoyed the tour. If Again, if you got any questions or anything, let me know. I'll be happy to answer them for you. Until next time, this is Paul Kepner. Thanks for watching.